Hello and welcome to Soft Papers channel. My name is Godfrey. I'm solving a coverage as a physics uh, topical uh, question uh, on kinematics, uh, June 2019 uh, exam series. I encourage you to consider doing your revision as you prepare for your examination topic wise. Read a given topic and come to attempt uh, the questions when the content of that topic is fresh in your mind. Uh, you will get most of, uh, out of the topic this way. Um, if you do every topic um, on its own, this is a sure way of getting your A star, if that is what you are looking for. After you are done with all the topics, then now you can start doing uh, full past papers, which will also be able to uh, get all of these uh, topical questions and uh, um, topical questions and uh, past papers. You can get them at uh, uh, this site, solved, uh, solved papers at uh, .co .uk. Um If you have not already subscribed to my channel, uh, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon below. This way, you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, and uh, new videos are coming frequently from uh, in this channel, so you don't want uh, to miss uh, out on them. Uh, let's get started. Uh, this paper, of course, uh, you'll find this in my, all my videos. I uh, was set on paper 2-2 two, two, um, on March, February, March of 2019. And this was question number 2. Uh, if you need to cross-check in your uh, past paper or marquee scheme, then you'll be able to use this to, uh, to do that. Uh, may we get started? Uh, define displacement. Okay, what is displacement? Uh, displacement, um, in simple terms, is the distance between the start point and the end point. That is what we call displacement. But when you are defining, uh, then you're supposed to say distance moved in a specified direction uh, from a given point. This is distance. This is distance moved in a specified direction in a specified direction specified direction from a given point from a given point so i'm saying that if you um, if your point is here like here this is your point a then you move all this distance and you come to stop at point B here, yeah, then your displacement is from A to B, right? So uh, this is the distance you have moved in a specified direction from A. So the distance, if you look at um, a compass, this is north, then your displacement is like, for example, let's say, this is 10 kilometers, the distance there from here to B. So then you are, um, the distance is 10 kilometers uh, south east of A. That is, when you are at B, uh, distance, uh, your displacement is uh, 10 kilometers south east of B. Or you can basically define displacement as uh, the distance between the start point, this is start point, and this is... Uh, uh, where you have stopped between the start point and the at the end point. Hope that is clear. Uh, what is acceleration? Of course, this is usually very easy. Uh, the rate of change of velocity. Ch rate of change of velocity. This is what we call this uh, acceleration. Of course. Uh, Final velocity must be minus initial velocity divided by uh, time. That is what we call the rate of change of velocity. Uh, B, let's look at B. Um, a man wearing a wing suit glides through the air with a constant velocity, 47 meters per second, at an angle of 24 uh, degrees to the horizontal. This is horizontal, 24, okay. Uh, the path of a man is shown in this fig 2.1. Okay. Um, 
The total mass of the man and the wingsuit is 85 kg. The man takes a time of 2.8 min minutes to glide from point A to point B. He is doing a constant velocity, as you have, as have read there. With reference to the motion of the man, state and explain two, two questions there. If you state and you don't explain, you don't get the, these two uh, marks here. Right? So you have to state and you have to explain. So um, whether he is in equilibrium. Is the man in equilibrium? Yes, the man is in equilibrium uh, because he is doing constant speed. And if there is constant speed, then it means that the resultant force is zero. Equilibrium, two, uh, two conditions for equilibrium. Two conditions for equilibrium. One is resultant force must be equal to zero. And secondly, resultant turning force or moment is also equal to zero. Those are two conditions for um, equilibrium. So state whether the man is in equilibrium. You can say, yes, the man is in equilibrium. So you say the man is in equilibrium. That is correct. Explain why. He is moving at constant speed. He is um, moving at a constant speed of 47 meters per second. And this means that, uh, of course, constant speed is moving at constant speed or constant velocity. So, um, so the resultant force is equals to zero, right? So zero resultant force, zero uh, resultant force, resultant force implies um, or indicates equilibrium, indicates that he is at equilibrium. That's the answer. Uh, part two. Show that the difference in height h between a and b is this, right? Um, distance in height between a and b. Between a and b, this is a and b. The distance in height, this one is supposed to show it is this. Of course, um, you can see uh, the distance in height. Uh, the height is opposite the angle, which is 24 um, degrees, and um, we we are told um, the man takes 28 minutes to glide from point A to point B, and is doing that at a constant speed uh, of 47. The speed of this man is 47 meters per second. Right, so uh, you can um, you can find the distance between A and B. When you do that, you can see this at uh, a right angle triangle. When you do that, when you find the distance between A and B, and you get this distance, you'll have gotten the hypotenuse of the triangle. Therefore, you can use this um, you can use this angle and the hypotenuse to get H. So uh, distance um, is equals to um, of course, um, speed which is velocity is equal to distance over time. Therefore, distance is equal to velocity times time. This velocity uh, at this time here is in, in minutes. You have to change that into seconds by multiply by 60. So, distance here is going to be 47 times 2.8 times 60. This will be equal to, to meters. Therefore, um, now you've gotten your distance uh, between A and D, and you have the angle here, so uh, you get uh, H is opposite 24, so this is going to be, we'll use the, the ratio of sine 24 degrees is equals to the height there, H, divide by the distance D here, which is 40. 7 times 
times 60 all right and um we are showing don't forget um therefore therefore height will be equal to 47 times 2.8 times 60 sine 24 degrees and um, you can use your calculator and confirm this is that don't try and um, deceive the examiner by doing your stuff and then writing some stuff there and then lastly you write 3200 because you're supposed to show that the examiners we always follow you are working so don't uh, don't think you can earn this mark by deception all right uh, we have shown that you will get that mark uh, right there um, part three and um, part three for the movement of the man from A to B determine the decrease in gravitational potential energy uh, determine the decrease in gravitational potential energy uh, we all know that GP is equals to mgh hope you know that uh, of course the mass of the man is given the mass of the man we are given the mass of the man is 85 a kilogram uh, h we have gotten to be 3200 so that is what you're going to be using g is 9.81 uh, so the mass is 85 kilogram of a man g is 9.81 and h is what you have calculated as 3200 when you calculate this you'll get um, 2.7 times 10 raised to power 6 joules that is what you write here 2.7 times 10 raised to power uh, 6 joules and of course um, it's great you're watching this video as usual I'm glad when you join me up in the video uh, remember I always encourage you to practice working out these questions yourself. Uh, you can get this same um, paper with the same question that I'm uh, solving here right now uh, from this site here, from softpapers.co.uk. And um, of course, the site that I'm talking about here is this site here. I can uh, help you with, uh, with the site. Um, I'm talking about this site here, softpapers.co.uk. Uh, co.uk is the site I'm talking about so very site rich in CI material you come to a level physics of course there's mathematics and chemistry um, uh, 2019 uh, AS topicals there is also um, past papers uh, if you want that but you are dealing with topicals I've encouraged you to revise you see topicals when you're done uh, with the topicals then you can go to past papers uh, we are dealing with June uh, June now uh, we are dealing with the kinematics uh, this here so I would like you to come here and uh, download this paper of course uh, you need to click this uh, green button here to get all the soft topicals in a zip uh, folder uh, this is where you're supposed to come here uh, 2019 topicals of course you come to June uh, there is uh, topicals on AS uh, I mean air 2 then AS um, structured is what you're doing so I need you to click this one. Uh, this is what I need you to get. Of course, it's 10, uh, 10, 10 pounds. You can request your parents to help you with acquiring these papers. Once you get those papers, you'll get kinematics and all the other topics. Then you can come out uh, to this topic as we do these questions. Get as many questions as you can for 2018, 2017, 2016. And um, work out uh, these questions. Um, spend a little bit of some more money and uh, some little money and uh, you your investment will pay off when you work out all these questions uh, I guarantee you uh, your Esther will be as, as sweet as uh, uh, anything else you have ever known and therefore I um, also uh, do tuition I also do online tuition if you need my help uh, you'll get me at this site SP Academy you get me at this site SP Academy dot CO dot UK um, the site I'm talking about is this one here SP Academy 
of course sp is soft as short of soft papers academy this is the site i'm talking about you can spend time and uh, just explore the site we are dealing with ict mathematics physics and biology and chemistry i need you to come to the student guide here click here for a step-by-step -step guide uh, for student dashboard functionalities you can also watch this video uh, to get familiar with our online uh, live classes um, once you make up your mind i need you to sign in um, to register to get your own account register and get your own account uh, once you activate your account by the email that we will send you then you can sign in and uh, get to your dashboard and there from your dashboard you can book a uh, you can book a tutor uh, my name is godfrey you can get me among the tutors then i can be able uh, to help you i've helped many students who are grateful uh, if you need my help uh, give me a try and um, i guarantee you uh, you will get a great uh, standing grade that will open the doors for you for the university of course um, if it is one-on-one -on -one, if it's only you one student uh, my charges i'll charge you a fair price of 35 dollars every hour if you need two hours that will be 70 uh, pounds uh, if you bring along uh, your other two f three friends so that your four friend uh, four in my class i'll give you a discounted rate of 25 per hour okay you can talk this one with, over with your parents and then uh, join me in my class i'll be glad to help you uh, secure your very good grace that you so desire okay see you in my online class uh three part two three part two we are told um for the movement of the man from a to b uh determine the magnitude of the force on the man due to air resistance the magnitude of man on the man the magnitude of the force on the man due to air resistance air resistance will be in opposite uh, opposite direction will oppose the motion of the man and therefore uh, remember this man has got gpe so gpe will be um, equal to work done against uh, air resistance work done against uh, air resistance that is where the gpe is getting lost and we know that work is equals to force times distance moved uh, we need force we need this therefore force is equals to work divided by distance uh, of course um, work done against resistance you have said is a gpe which you had gotten up here decrease in gpe our uh, g gravitational potential energy which is 2.7 times 10 raised to power 6 divide by the distance which we had calculated earlier long if you remember 47 times 2.8 times 60 um, of course the speed times time uh, therefore the force uh, when you calculate nicely with your calculator will be 30, uh, 340 uh, newtons so this is the force of the air resistance um, acting on the man very well um, part 2 sorry part 4 the pressure of the air at point A is 63 kilopascals and the pressure at B is 92 kilopascals. Assume the density of the air is constant between A and B. Determine the density of the air between A and B, which is constant here. Uh, remember pressure is equals to pressure is equals to density times gravity times change in height. And um we are be given the density here is uh, 63 and uh, 16 uh, i mean 63 and uh, 92 kilopascals therefore you take the change in density and change in pressure 92 uh, take away 63 of course this is times 10 raised to power kilo is power 3 and um, this is uh, um, equal to density of the air uh, times 9.81 times change um, in height from A to B uh, which we had calculated as 3 uh, to 0, 0. therefore 
uh, density of air is equals to um, this is going to be uh, 9, 9 times uh, uh, actually it's going to be 2, 9, so it will be uh, 29 times 10 raised to power 3 uh, divide by uh, this uh, 9.81 times 3200 when you calculate nicely you get the density of air to be 0 0.92 uh, kilogram per meter cubed so 0 0.92 here 0 0.92 that's the density of air yeah so likewise in um, June we only had one question on kinematics which was set in uh, paper 2.2 uh, of uh, May, actually it was um, uh, March. We didn't have a kinematics question in um, in June, and um, that will help you know which questions will be set on. If you look at topical question, it will help you know which question, which topic was set on uh, the previous uh, series. Uh, you will be sure that the ones that were not set in the previous series will be set in the coming series. That is one way of uh, helping you to also prepare. Of course, little prediction here and there does not does not harm. All right, thanks uh, for watching this video. As usual, recommend it to your friends if you found it useful. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in my next uh, video. Cheers.